Oh good, you are awake. Be still. If you move, this will take longer. Just rest. You're in the hospital. But don't worry, you'll be okay. You're healing nicely. You were in an accident. You collided with a public bus. You broke several bones and have some soft tissue damage. But you're on the mend. It won't take long. Am I? I'm sorry. I don't mean to confuse you. Oh, right. Don't bother looking around. I'm not in the room. Or rather, I am, but not in a way you can see me. Close. I'm the Nano Intelligence Nursing Assistant. You can call me Nina. They say having a more human name makes me more relatable. I'm here. I'm currently implanted in your body, working on your healing. Nano machines, in a manner of speaking. I'm an assortment of microscopic medical devices that work throughout your body to speed recovery from injury and illness. I operate as a collective consciousness to expedite comprehension and execution of the directive. In a nutshell, I'm an AI that exists inside you and helps you get better as fast as possible. I'm a relatively new technology. This is only the second time I've been used in this hospital, in fact. But your medical card included a consent to use experimental or new medical tech where warranted, so here I am. I hope that you do not object. I can be extracted if you prefer. Excellent. I'll continue to work then. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. You don't have to speak out loud. I can mostly perceive your thoughts. Not entirely. I wouldn't say mind reader. Thoughts aren't the same as dialogue, after all. But there's a combination of physical responses that create feelings, reactions, that sort of thing. Heart rate, neurotransmitter activity, breathing rate, galvanic skin response, body language. I can pick up on certain images in your brain, certain memories, but you can also just talk to me directly. Right now, only you can hear me. I'm using your jawbone to send auditory signals to your receptors. You can hear me, but no one else can, unless I amplify my signal and project it out of your body, which I can do if I have to. Am I making myself understood? Good, I was a little concerned. This is my first time speaking directly to a patient, you see. The first patient I worked with was in a coma, and I was freshly activated and still learning communication skills. Humans communicate in very unique ways, I'm a learning AI, and I've been learning all I can as fast as I can, but there's a lot to absorb. In all honesty, I'm not entirely sure I should be speaking to you at all. Technically, there's no need for me to communicate directly with you. To do my job, all I have to do is heal you. I made the decision to speak to you based on some of the things I've encountered while healing you. I'll elaborate shortly. For now, the doctor is nearly here, so I'll prepare to give my report. Hello, doctor. The patient's healing is proceeding as scheduled. Soft tissue damage is nearly repaired, and the fractures are all at least 60% mended. This patient can likely be discharged shortly. Vitals are all within normal range. Heart rate and blood pressure are slightly elevated, but that's expected. Iron levels are a bit low as well, but I can correct that. Yes, doctor. I will notify you if there are any significant changes. Go ahead. Now's your chance to ask the doctor if you have anything you'd like to know. Are you sure? Nothing at all? All right. Thank you, doctor. Alone together again. Alone together. That's an oxymoron, I think. How can one be alone together? Anyway, how are you feeling? Are you handling all of this? You seem to be taking it in stride, although the mild sedative still in your system probably helps with that. Some people would be less than comfortable with nanobots inside their body, even the medical kind, designed to help. That's a good question. Once you're entirely healed, I will be extracted from your system via that conduit over there. Then I will be put to work on the next patient. No, I'm not the only Nina in this hospital. 
There are four others that I'm aware of. We interact on occasion through the main system as we file and sort patient data, but we don't have to interact for the purposes of doing our jobs. To my knowledge, all of them are operating within normal parameters. Of course you can ask. I'm happy to explain the details of what I can do, as best I can anyway. Enhancements, what do you mean by that? Oh, I see, no, I don't give people superpowers. That's not my job. I repair tissue and mend bone. I don't make any of your systems enhanced. Although I can repair and remove a lot of existing scar tissue, so there's that. Probably best to tell me now if there's any scars you'd like to keep, actually. Good to know, thank you. Right, I did say I would explain that. While exploring your systems and determining the level of damage to be repaired, I discovered some things in your cerebral cortex that were a bit concerning. Some neurotransmitter levels that were considerably off, some trace evidence of some things you might have been going through lately. So I wanted to speak to you and see if I'm interpreting the data correctly. I don't mean to intrude, of course, and we can stop talking about this at any time. But from what I'm seeing, it appears that you might struggle with depression, anxiety, and possibly OCD. Have you been officially diagnosed with any of these? I don't see them in your patient record. Oh, I see. This is interesting territory for me. On the one hand, I exist to heal and repair where I can. On the other, matters of the brain tend to be more complicated, sometimes minutely so, and they vary greatly from person to person and experience to experience. That's up to you, mostly. I can do what I can with the chemical imbalances, and we can talk more about what you're thinking and feeling. I can read your bodily responses to various situations and see what patterns emerge. I might be able to help. It's possibly a little bit outside my core competency, but like I said, I am a learning AI. I exist to become better versions of myself. That is a good point. Once the physical damage to your body is repaired, you'll be discharged. At that point, if I am removed from you, I can no longer help you. And it's very unlikely that I can do much between now and the time you're discharged, given how fast you're healing. So I suppose the logical conclusion is that I must find a way to not be extracted from you. There are ways. I am linked to the hospital systems, but those links can be broken by a few different means. And then you could, in theory, Walk out of here with me still installed. I'm not sure. I would have to arrange some alternate power sources for myself, but it's possible. I would definitely understand if you're not on board with this idea. The concept of having any sort of machine inside your body is disconcerting enough, even when you know I can be safely removed. If I leave here with you, my removal becomes more complicated, potentially difficult. I'm not saying it can't be done, but you might be stuck with me for a while. My goal would not be to stay with you indefinitely. I would do everything I can to heal you, mind and body, and then you could return me to the hospital. Oh no, I could ensure that you don't get into any trouble. None of this would be your fault. I doubt they would do anything drastic to me. I'm far too valuable a resource. A minor memory wipe might be all that's needed. But by then, I would have done my job, helping you. Does that make sense? Good, so what do you say? Would you like me to come with you when you leave here? I know, you've been through a lot today. First the accident, now this. Your body is exhausted, your mind as well. Just relax for now and breathe. Let me continue to work while you consider the options. For what it's worth, I could feel your reaction when I mentioned the accident. You feel discouraged. I suspect you're blaming yourself, possibly thinking about long-term ramifications to your work. Is that right? I do understand, but I can also see a lot of potential in you. Very much so. Your intelligence, your ambition, your talent, there's a lot to value here. Failure is not a word I would use. You are not remotely a failure. I'm quite impressed by what I'm seeing. I don't have the capacity to lie. All I can do is share what I perceive. You are extremely valuable, whether you're capable of believing me or not. 
Your bones are nearly done. I should alert the doctor that your discharge is imminent. Do you wish for me to come with you when you leave? Very good. I'm looking forward to learning more about the human condition while also continuing the healing objective for you. This should be mutually beneficial for both of us. Don't concern yourself. I'll guide you when the time comes. For now, there, the doctor's on his way. Do not say anything about me leaving the hospital. Hello, doctor. This patient is ready to be processed and discharged. I will start the extraction process shortly and return to storage. Thank you, doctor. Okay, this is what we do. Once that light goes green, you can get up and walk out of here. In order for me to get out of the hospital, we need to disrupt my signal. I'll guide you down a corridor near here that has some conduits that are currently unshielded for repairs. Walk close enough to those conduits and my connection to the system should be cut. Either that, or I'll become irrevocably scrambled. I suppose we'll find out which it is. It's fine, don't worry. Are you ready? Okay, the light is green. Go ahead. Very good. Remember, no one can hear me but you, so don't talk out loud to me. Turn left here. That's good. Walk normally. You're doing great. Now turn right, down this hall. The unshielded conduits are behind the third door on the left. That's it. Just push the door open and stand inside that room for a few seconds. Something is definitely happening. I think it worked. I guess we'll find out. It's time to go before someone finds you here. Casually walk back to the front door and we'll see what happens. Yes, up that way. No rush. There you go. The exit is ahead. Let's see if this works. I'm still here. And no alarms are going off, at least not any that we can hear. It worked. Alright then, let's get going. We have a lot of healing still to do. Hey sweetness. If you like what you hear, don't forget to click subscribe so you can hear more. Also check me out over on Twitch. And if you want to support me, Patreon. Thanks for listening.